You're listening to the La Jolla Cosmetic Podcast. Welcome everyone to the La Jolla Cosmetic Podcast. I'm your hostess, Monique Ramsey, and today we get to meet another member of the La Jolla Cosmetic Dream Team, and we are speaking today to Karina Thompson. Welcome. Hi, thank you. So Karina, tell us about what you do in the practice. So I am a surgical patient care coordinator. So I am the patient's first point of contact, whether a patient is calling to find out more information about a procedure they're interested in, or they'd like to book a complimentary consultation, they will get transferred to me. And from there, I will provide them all the details that they need to know to help them better prepare for a procedure that they are looking to move forward with. And then do you help guide them in terms of which doctor to choose if they don't know which doctor? Yes. And how do you go about that? Oftentimes I go off the procedure they're interested in. If you're looking to do facial procedure or a body procedure, then I will help you choose a doctor that specializes in that particular surgery that you're looking to do. Or if you have a preference of a male or female surgeon, then that also determines which surgeon I recommend. So when and where might the patients expect to meet you in the process? They can first meet me over the phone when they first call our practice. When a patient comes in for a complimentary consultation, after they meet with one of our board certified plastic surgeons, I am the one you meet with as I will go over their surgical quote based on the doctor's recommendations. From there, I'll go over the details of their surgical quote answer any questions, whether it's relating to scheduling, financing, just really tie everything in together and help you through the process. So you mentioned financing. We do have a whole podcast episode on financing specifically. So we'll put that in the show notes, but just as a quick overview, is financing something a lot of people use? Oh, absolutely. And when I talk to patients, they oftentimes are relieved to know that we offer financing. One of the main things I think patients should know is that we offer interest-free financing. A lot of patients, when I ask, is financing something they're looking to do? They'll say, well, it depends you know, on what your terms are and always let them know, hey, we offer up to 24 months, no interest. So the procedure you're interested in can be something that is achievable. As soon as they hear about that, I go more into detail and you can just hear it in their voice, just a sense of relief to know that this is something that they have been wanting to do for so many years is about to become a reality. Yeah. And one of the things that I've noticed as I've interviewed a lot of our patients on the podcast is I'll say, what do you want to tell other patients who might be considering a procedure? And almost every one of them has said that I just wish I had done it sooner because it does make a big impact in their life in such a positive way. Absolutely. But what's the number one barrier? A lot of times it's a financial thing. So I think letting people know that you're there for them to navigate the waters of what's the best way. And sometimes it's a combination. Maybe you have some money saved. Maybe you want to get some airline miles and you're going to finance part of it, whatever. And I always tell patients, yeah, they do have that option. Some patients are interested in multiple procedures and because of the pricing, they'll say, well, based on what money I have right now in my bank account, I can only do this. And so I let them know, hey, you are able to potentially do multiple procedures because of the interest-free financing options that we offer. What made you want to become a patient care coordinator? What was the path to getting to this position? So prior to becoming a patient care coordinator, I managed a medical spa for seven years in Encinitas and I landed in that position by accident. I was living in LA, was managing a store, a retail store. And while I had fun, I made me realize retail was not for me. And I ended up applying to this medical spa, which I, to, at the time, to be honest, I had no idea what a medical spa was. And I'm so glad that I ended up in that path by accident because I absolutely fell in love with it. It just opened up this whole new world that I never even knew of. And all of a sudden I found myself telling family and friends, like, have you heard of a medical spa? It's so amazing. They do all these (laughs) procedures. And after being there for seven years, I was ready for a new challenge and just wanted to challenge myself more. 
and learn and grow more. And this is where I came across this position that allowed me to now explore, still stay within aesthetics, but explore the surgical aspect of it, which is absolutely rewarding. And how long have you been with La Jolla Cosmetic now? For, it'll be three years next month. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's wonderful. Time flies when you're having fun. It, it, I know. <laughs> it does. So what skills or knowledge did you pick up in the med spa that you worked at prior to La Jolla Cosmetic that you're maybe using now? One of the main things is working with patients very closely. I always knew when I was in college that I always wanted to work with people and helping people. And I'm able to connect with patients, find out more about what their goals are. And from there, let them know what recommendations and essentially let them know that there is something that can be done to help them feel better. Whether it's something simple like hydrating their skin, you know, changing their product regimen to now that I'm working on the surgical side, offering surgical options. And especially with the surgical side, a lot of patients might think of surgery and they are automatically just scared, nervous, which I can 100% relate given that when I underwent breast augmentation, I was terrified. And as you mentioned earlier, Monique, just like many patients, I always tell my own patients, my only regret in terms of surgery was not doing it sooner because it was something I'd been wanting for six years. And and it was when I finally did it, it was just, I thought to myself, why did I take so long? (laughs) And about your procedure, what was sort of the thing that maybe surprised you about after the procedure and after going through the process? What did you think? Maybe something that you thought about prior to, like you said, you were scared. And then Mm -hmm. afterwards, were you thinking, what did you think of? I think my biggest worry prior to considering, in my case, breast augmentation was getting the wrong size. And I always tell patients and remind them that our surgeons are extremely knowledgeable and experienced, and they will guide you in the right direction in terms of choosing a size that fits with your body, your anatomy, and your goals. And so part of it is trusting your surgeon with what they're recommending and just know that you're in the best of hands and they're going to help you give you the results that you're looking for. So when patients come in for a consultation, after you meet with the surgeon, they will do what's called a Vectra, which is a like a photo simulator where we take your photos and then based on the results you're looking to achieve, the surgeon will make a recommendation in terms of size and they will adjust your photos to reflect what your breasts will look like. And a lot of patients really like this tool because it allows them to visually see what their results are going to look like. And it just makes them even more excited to see this in person. So I think it definitely calms their nerves and gets them even more excited. So tell us about your educational path. So I went to Cal State uh, University, Long Beach. Um, So I majored in communications and minored in Spanish. And so I originally wanted to be a translator. So that's why I went that path. I'm a San Diego native. I was born and raised in San Diego. My family's in San Diego. So I was ready to come back and At that point is when I stumbled into working at a medical spa and it's all history from there. I love it. I love it. Another San Diego native. It's so fun. So what have you learned from listening to patients? I've learned that everybody has different goals, different needs. And sometimes when a patient initially makes a call, they're very nervous, they're hesitant. You can tell that they, you know, making this call is the first initial step and it's a big step for them. And I always try to, my goal whenever I talk to patients is to let them know that, first of all, you already made the first step of making a call. Second, you're already on a great path because you chose our practice <laughs> and, and that they're in good hands. So you grew up here in San Diego. Tell us about what you enjoy doing here, besides maybe seeing your family, since your family lives here, but what are your favorite pastimes? I love hiking. Absolutely love the outdoors. I recently had a baby, so I've been having so much fun just hanging out with him and 
now that he walks, he's running around everywhere. So it's nice to see him explore this fabulous city. Oh, that's nice. Have you, has he gone to the zoo yet? Not yet. I'm waiting on that one, but I can't wait to take him to the zoo and see world. Yeah, it's so fun. My kids used to love it. Let's talk about, since La Jolla Cosmetic is such a family atmosphere, tell us about your favorite family tradition. And this usually is around Thanksgiving, which I'm sure a lot of people do, but I think it's one of those things where I kind of wish we did it maybe once a month. So we go around the table and we say what we're grateful for, but then we also say what we're grateful for about a person, not just in general, but just, you just pick someone, you know, around the table and just acknowledge, you know, because I think a lot of times we get so busy with our day-to-day lives, we're distracted by our phones that we forget to just sit down. And even if it's to tell someone you're amazing, you're doing great thank you for being you. And so it's one of the things that I really enjoy, especially around the holidays. That's a wonderful tradition. I love that. So what would you like listeners to take away from listening to this podcast? Just know that you're not alone, that you're not the only one that feels nervous when you think about surgery and just know that we're here to support you, to answer your questions We want to make sure that you feel at ease, comfortable, and that you have all the information you need to make the right decision for you. Yeah. Now, before we wrap it up, for listeners of our podcast, we give $25 off of any product or service of 50 or more. So let me ask you, Karina, if you're going to have $25 to spend towards something, what product or treatment would it be? Ooh, that's a hard one. But I recently started using our Skin Better products and I absolutely love them. I would highly recommend the Skin Better Trio Balancing Moisturizer. Oh, It's absolutely amazing. I got my mom hooked on it. She absolutely loves it. So I would, if I had $25, I would use it towards that. Oh, perfect. I love that. That's a new one. For me, I haven't tried that yet. Oh, highly recommend it. Okay. Okay. And last but not least, if any of you have any questions about services or you'd like to schedule a consultation with one of our plastic surgeons or one of our med spa providers, you can contact us via the links down in the show notes. And everything that we talked about today will have a link for you. And then Karina might be the person you talk to when you call, right? Thank you so much for having me. And I look forward to talking to you if you decide to give us a call. Thanks, everybody. Take a screenshot of this podcast episode with your phone and show it at your consultation or appointment or mention the promo code podcast to receive $25 off any service or product of $50 or more at La Jolla Cosmetic. La Jolla Cosmetic is located just off the I-5 San Diego Freeway in the Zymed Building on the Scripps Memorial Hospital campus. To learn more, go to ljcsc.com or follow the team on Instagram at ljcsc. The La Jolla Cosmetic Podcast is a production of The Axis, T-H-E-A-X-I-S dot I-O.